car. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to the gas station, got halfway up the hill and it ran out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. She's running and driving. She's empty. You guys want to see out the floor? I can see anything. None of my lights are working. Oh my god. I am a freaking idiot. That getting stuck, I thought I'd get in there by the daylight. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. At least the brakes are working. And she's driving. going guys yeah so I knew the thing was run out of the gas so I went up and uh, was gonna fill it up and uh, <laughs> I got to the top of the hill and it ran out of gas good thing I took my gas can with me though I'll be doing that a lot of a lot of that from now on but anyway a uh, little update I don't know if you guys saw but got a new carb on uh, finally got the starting and running situation fixed all the leaks plugged uh, except for the exhaust leak, but another donation to the project via Tron. Some Tri Y headers. Look at these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Big uh, three inch collector there. And those are, those are, those are ceramic coated, uh, so they'll never blue when they get hot. But I got all that stuff. Um, he even threw in a, a flamethrower coil. Uh, it's for uh, actually the Protronic setup, if you guys are aware of what that is, it's just a really good coil setup conversion for older Mustangs. Anyway, Greg picked me up a few things on the way back from Bellevue. So it's the only Mustang place in Washington, really. Well, close by anyway. So I got a, a transmission uh, drop down cable. So, like when you've done it, it uh, drops it into lower gear. Some seat bolts, which I needed desperately so the seats can go back in. But yeah, she's still looking ratty. I was gonna try to clean her out tonight a little bit, but uh, it's getting late. I haven't been feeling 100% today, so I'm just having a hard time getting motivated. But anyway, that's kind of an update for you. Uh, next thing to do is go through uh, all the electrical lights and stuff so I can drive it at night. I think I, I don't know how many like headlights and stuff that I've got broken but um, I think the rears are actually working actually let's let's test that theory okay that one this one was working what the hell that one doesn't have a cover on what am I doing oh, I might need my keys well now that she's running I got her back to the house with some gas in her she sucks it up not in the cono box that's for sure that's what I actually should have got but yeah what are you gonna do Anyway, a couple things I need to do tonight. I need to get the uh, dash cluster back in. Um, I'm not sure why they had it off, but probably digging around the wires back there. But it was nice of them. At least they left them marked. I generally know what they are, but there's some extra wires in here. I'm not sure. Some replacement stuff. Some grounds. And then the second thing was obviously dealing with those. Uh, I got a little bit of sheet metal. To, uh, to put them up temporarily and I'll just cover them with a blanket or whatever or some carpeting temporarily while I drive this thing around but uh, and probably maybe this weekend I'll dig into the heater I think the heater motors bad or the wiring got disconnected or something but I gotta tear that out that's this box down here <clears throat> it's the whole heater unit and do that and then I gotta check fluids again uh, put a little bit of tranny fluid in tonight seems to be working a little better today. I think they just put the minimum amount in the tranny I gotta check it again but I think I need to put some more in check for leaks so the other thing that I need to do to get this thing running or at least non cop worthy you know because it sounds like a bomber right now is do the exhaust if, uh, if there's any uh, muffler companies out there or pro shops that want to donate to the uh, to the project that would be wonderful uh, definitely promote you 
Um, you get quite a bit of viewers for this stuff. Anyway, they need to attach to that. Oh, I'd like to get Flowmaster 40s uh, short headers. I forget what, what are the brands on these. These are SB. Hmm. What the hell are these? SB Ford short, I guess short something. Came from uh, Big B Auto, Classic Automotive. Uh, those are donated by Tron. Yeah, what are these? I wish I knew. I think they were, I don't know if they're tri wise. I don't think they are. Uh, let me look a little closer here. SB Ford Mustang Fairlane headers, ceramic coated primaries. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, does it really say SB? I'll have to look that up. Anyway, maybe I go look at their website, huh? <laughs> but thank you, Tron, for that. Uh, I owe him like a uh, trade and return on those, actually. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get at that dash cluster and check the wiring, tape off anything that seems loose, uh, reconnect some stuff with some electrical connectors, because you never know. The last thing you'd want is like a short behind the dash. That's one other thing I get. Anybody want to donate a couple fire extinguishers to me? <laughs> I definitely got to get one in the car just in case. Well, I kind of took a break from the uh, instrument panel because I got to clean it up. And I'm thinking all, all I need to do is hook up the fuel gauge and the uh, speedo and the temp. Anyway, <laughs> probably all of them. But I'm not going to do that tonight. Anyway, I took uh, Greg's advice temporarily and. Uh, put some temporary pans in and this is just sheet metal it's actually it was an old cooking pan <laughs> talk about ghetto but at least you know we'll be choking on fumes and shit so yeah that'll be good for now so I'll probably temporarily put seats back in bolt them in and uh some seat belts in there just in case but uh yeah pretty ghetto right now but uh there you go, that's it, I think, for me tonight. Uh, got a few things I gotta try to just tinker around with, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not really motivated tonight. I actually think I work seven days in a row on this thing to get it running, so I'm just kind of burned out now. All right, well, I know this is super ghetto for now, but I <laughs> got an area rug laying down on the, on the floor, a couple of floor mats up front, and I kind of cleaned the seats up a little bit, uh, just for now. So I can just hop around in it. I didn't even bother to put all the seat bolts on. Seat bolts. Seat bolts. <laughs> it's been two in the front. You know, we got the guillotine there in the front. So when you get in a rack, our heads come off. It's a quick way to go. <laughs> well, the last thing I'm going to do tonight, Tuesday night, is uh, basically just send it off the really bad, actually wire wheeled the really bad rust spots and holes that are down there. And just covered them with some uh, etching primer. So, yeah. And I did a little POR15, which is a rust inhibitor, uh, on the inside a little bit too. Yeah. So from what I can tell, this is like I just need the I just need the two rear pans, and the rest should be good. Uh, I'm gonna get a subframe connector. Got to look for that. See if I can't find a used one. Uh, new ones are really expensive. So and that helps stepping up the car a little bit, and then. Uh, there's some stuff under the hood that helps stiffen up the car too. Um, Monte Carlo bar and a few other things in there. But uh, I had to save my money up for all that stuff. And hopefully sometime this spring I'll get this thing, you know, torn apart, painted. But I gotta go through everything mechanical. And I'm almost there, I'm almost there. So, so far in the rest of logs I've done, uh, let's see, gone over the brace completely, totally. Um, with the help of Greg last night, we bled them out the rest of the way and adjusted the drums uh, Or the shoes I should say and they're as good as they're gonna get. They're really good actually um, Got all the seals in the motor cleaned up um, Seems that I might have a tranny, tranny leak, but I gotta I gotta look at that um, I got well I got the interior partially in and they're not too bad I mean the mechanicals of the seats, you know the underneath part are really good and actually the seats aren't really that bad but if I want to show it, I definitely want to clean it up, but you know, I just might not. I mean, they're they're pretty damn nice. They just need to be really cleaned up. And uh, it looks like the passenger side had something resting on it when it was 
when it was derelict for so long. So, yeah, um, what else did I do? Put a lot of the stuff back together that was missing in the car. Now, the main thing, I guess, right now is the wiring. I got to figure out tomorrow night. I think I'm going to check the tranny, see where it might be leaking or whether I overflowed it because um, it was low and, and it was, wasn't going into gear right. But when I put fluid in it, it shifted just fine. But I got to get that checked out. Um, I got to get some good cooling in it, but I want to make sure to drive it a good distance probably to work um, sometime this week. We'll see. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah. But yeah, next steps are definitely uh, going to be the electrical and uh, training and fluids. And uh, maybe clean it up a little bit. But uh, one of these weekends, I'm going to. Uh, go through the whole car with the wire wheel, under the dash, in the engine compartment, under the car, in the rear of the car, and I might even take out the rear end because it's got some suspension problems. I think the springs are shot. Um, the shot or the, the struts or the shocks are good, but the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I forget. You know, the springs, the big long things in the back. Um, might have to replace those. I've had to do that before. And besides, I gotta go through all that and clean all that crap up anyway, so that'll be fun. So yeah, it's about 9 o'clock, uh, at 9.30 actually. I'm going to try and clean up my frickin' major mess, because all the dirty stuff is basically done now. Uh, all the fluid stuff, all the crap, things are running. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up and try to get organized. Good luck with that, right? All right, thanks for watching tonight, guys. Remember, uh, pass the word along. Get the videos out there. We actually make ad revenue from these videos, which help me restart this thing. So get on it. Put the word out. It's cool to watch. People find it entertaining, right? I hope so. All right, good night, guys. So come here. Come on. We're going to see if the dog approves. Come here. Over here. Come, come here. Go ahead. Wrong side? Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. New car. Good. <laughs>